Hey, what's up coders? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to achieve this Bezier curve. So in my previous uh, clipping tutorial, um, I got a lot of requests uh, from the subscribers asking me if I could achieve a curve in this clipping. So this was basically a straight clipping uh, both um, on the uh, bottom and on the top. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this Bezier curve using a quadratic Bezier 2 function. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to clear the template and first get a box image and then we will start clipping the image and I'll show you how to do that. Well, uh, here I have a very simple image. It's inside a container which is just a box image. So you can see here I've used tag so that I can place the other icons or the other images over this particular image. So now what we do is first add this container inside your clip path widget and then add a clipping class. So I'll just show you how to do that. So I'm going to add a child with clipping clip path. Clip path and then I'm going to add a clipper. There is a factor called clipper. And that's where you mention all your curve points for the image. So I'm missing the closing braces. Okay. So we have enclosed our container inside the clip path widget and the clipper is the clipping class. Now here I have the clipping class which extends a custom clipper and whatever points you mention for your curve has to be defined inside this path okay so there are a couple of points we need to remember before we start um, working on the curve points always remember it's basically x and y axis so your x is your width and your y is your height so we'll use the curve points based on those factors so first we're going to start clipping at this point so here at this point my x will be 0 and my y is the height parameter so i'm going to define my first path so it's path line 2 so it's going to take 0 and my size height In, in fact, my y is going to be size height minus 40. This is just a random value that I have picked up. You can pick um, whatever value you want depending on your requirement. If you want to clip it at this point or here or here. So I have used 40. So that's my first clipping point. Now, my next clipping point is... I'm going to show you first a straight and then I'm going to show you how it gets clipped. So I'm going to add another path line 2 with size width and my y is 0. So if you look at the picture, right now my first point that is this line points to this point. Now th the moment I say size width and 0, that's my x is the width and y is 0 it's going to point to this direction. It's going to get clipped at this point. So I'm just going to show you how it looks. So you can see how the second path got clipped. My y value is same as the size width, but my other point is zero. So it has to clip back to this position. So this is how it clips value but instead of this we wanted it to give a curve and then come to this point and then go back to this point. So what I'm going to do is we're going to retain this line because at the end it has to come to this point and close the path. So before that we need to use quadratic Bezier to curve in order to achieve that curves. So I'm going to say path quadratic Bezier 
2 and you have 4 points. So what are these 4 points? The first one is the range. The first and second is the range points. You are saying that I want the curve from x1 to y1 with the control points of x2 and y2. It's like I want the range is like 100 to 200 but the variation should be within those 100 and 200 points. So those values you have to mention here. So that's how you play around with curves. So first let's achieve the first curve. So what I'm going to do is it's all purely the width and height that you're working on. So let me type the path and then explain you how this works. So when I say size width by 4, uh, let me run this and I can show you the output. So when I do a hot restart, I get this. So if you look at it, you can see the first curve has been formed. Now I'll tell you how this is. So when you look at the quadratic Bezier 2 function, the first value is the x1 and x2 where these both are the range values. So here this is your size width by 4 to size height. So this is my x2 and this is my x1. Now these two values are between these two x1 and x2. So if you want a little more sharper curve, you just have to divide it by 4 and size. If you want a, a dip, you can give slash by 2, divide it by 2, increase it or decrease it. And just you have to tweak the values and get it. Because even I did not get these values in the first attempt. I had to um, do a lot of trial and error to get this curve. So similar way, we are achieved the first curve. So this is the point. Now I want the curve back to the same position and I want these two corners to be at the same position. So in that case, what I'm going to do is my last point would be minus 40 because that's where we started. So it's going to be, I'm going to add another quadratic Bezier 2 curve. So if you look at this last point, it's, it should be the same point where it started. That's when you can achieve your ending point in the same alignment with your starting curve. So if you look at this, it's the same way. These two values are your range. And these two points are the variations of the controlling curves. So if you do a hot restart and then if you look at the value, There you go. So you can see it completed the other half of the curve. So this way you can get your quadratic curves on your clipping um, path. And always you should also ensure that you close the path. That's very important. Closing path is your last point is here. You have to bring back to the starting point. So for that you have to say path dot close. So this completes a um, clipping method. Now, if you look at the uh, um, picture, uh, we have another icon and a picture to be pending. So I'm going to just show you how to do it because I've already covered it in my previous video, which is nothing but the position widget. So I'm going to quickly show you how to add that. So I have added another font awesome icon exactly um, over the banner image and uh, using a position widget. So all you need is uh, the parameters top, right, left, bottom. So you can place either a heart stating like button or um, a play button if you have some movies to play or um, you can also change this position from the right. So I'm just going to change this padding, I mean the position widget from right to left and you can see the position changing from one corner to the other. So I'm going to give the same 270 but instead of right I'm going to say left and you can see that the play button has shifted on the left side. So this way it's not necessary you need to give an icon you can also give another box um, image uh, like the movies detail pages. So this is uh, some of the use cases that you could use these um, position widget for. 
and um, yeah that's it so this tutorial is about uh, how to use clipping um, and hope you like the video um, please do like and subscribe and if you find this video informative please do share it thank you